Hey, how's it going guys? So I installed the iOS 8.5 beta 1 on my iPhone 7 and I'm testing it since then and I have to give review Man, the performance of my iPhone 7 on this one where is just amazing I mean when I installed the iOS 8.4 developer beta 1 if you have watched that video you can check that out the uh, just for fun uh, uh, I know I use 8.4 public releases out but I, I you can check that beta 1 video out because I, the first thing that I said in that video was wow that the performance is just amazing and i'm saying this again the performance is seriously amazing on my device after installing that use for in five i mean it is just amazing that apple is just able to improve their old devices day by day after every update and uh, by the way we can't say, uh, say the same about the battery life though <laughs> but i think they will improve the battery performance on all devices really soon with the ios 15 maybe uh, i don't i'm not really sure but i hope they can fix that ish battery drain issue on all devices as soon as possible because even on my iphone 12 i was getting it on the ios 11 3 but thankfully i haven't got battery drain issues on my iphone 12 since i've installed the ios 14.4 on my device so i i am currently working on ios 1.5 review on iphone 12 so you can subscribe to the channel if you are interested into that now talking about the battery life again how the battery life is going on on my iphone 7 first of all let me show you my battery health is at 100 percent i have replaced my battery it's been like eight or nine months it's been more more than it's been almost an year that i replaced my battery and uh, still it's at 100 percent so i think it's a big achievement obviously i don't use that use this one as much as i use iphone 12 11 10 r but then also my screen time is not i mean look at this one hour eight minute and almost every single day my uh, usage is like you look at this one hour 14 minutes and it's obviously one to three hours it's be between that so a uh, whole year of 100 percent of battery health almost it's a big achievement for me now let's get into the video and uh, if, you, if you want some tips from me that how i maintained it on my device let me know down in comments below i'll share it with you guys if you want that so as usual after installing the iOS 14.5 update if you can see here yeah here is a big dip and uh, I was not even using my device that much at this time it was just updated and that's it and uh, there is a big dip and even if you want to use your device or e if you will use your device it doesn't matter and many people were saying that why my after updating my device my I was not even using my device I kept it all night and then also drain like 10 20 percent 25 percent it's uh, don't worry after updating it happens and especially with betas because it always uh, even if you're not using your device it the uh, it is optimizing apps in background so it takes a lot of battery life from your device and i recommend if you are if you are not using your device and even if you are using your device turn on low power mode and you are good to go you may lose one or two percent battery uh, overnight maybe and i'm not really sure but it, it is better than just nothing if you won't turn on battery low power mode it is better than that now talking about the stability the beta 1 of ios 1.5 is pretty stable in my use till now but i have got one respring i was just using my device i was scrolling through twitter at the rate tech hype you can follow me if you are interested into that considering it's a beta 1 i would say not that bad because it's been some uh, it's been a while that i'm using my device on ios 1.5 five beta one and for a while i mean it's been quite a few hours that i'm using it on my device so that's it for today's video if this video was helpful for you all consider dropping a like and subscribe to this channel because i do these type of things almost daily and i don't want you guys to miss that peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode